Okay, here we go. So high mode. Hey guys, Brad here, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at two impact drivers that I really, really like. This is DeWalt's 20 volt DCF887 and their Extreme DCF801. Now, totally different. This is a 12 volt, this is a 20 volt. I know you can't really compare them, but this is my go-to impact all the time. It's brushless. They're both brushless. Actually, yeah, they're both brushless. And this has been my go-to for a really, really long time. It's got lots of power. It's got the three modes on it. I really love it. It's XR and it's nice and light, compact, and it gets the job done. Now, I recently got this extreme version, which is a 12 volt, and it's got the two amp hour battery on it. And it's a lot smaller. It also has a different function on the top. And uh, I wanna say before I get into that function, make sure you subscribe and hit that notify bell and give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And make sure you leave some comments down below because you know, there's been lots of chatter, lots of conversations with dudes who are asking about both of these and which one do you go for and, and all that stuff. So I think for me, there's a very specific reason why I use this impact and a very specific reason why I use this impact. But let's get back to this. And I guess this is my specific reason for right here, when you press this button and you're on the first mode, this is really, really good if you're into cabinetry and you don't want to over screw your, you know, bloom hinges or something like that. It's very, very um, precise and dialed in on the impacts and the RPMs are really, really low on it. The RPMs, I'll just go over that on this model, on the DCF801, are 0 to 950 RPMs on this first level. And then when you switch to low, they're zero to 1,950. And then on high, they're zero to 2,850. So that's the RPMs. And then the max uh, impacts per minute on this are zero to 3,600. So when we come over to the 20 volt, we've got for RPM zero to 1,000 on level one. Level two, we're looking at zero to 2,800. And then level three, we're zero to 3,250. So you can see we're a lot higher RPMs on this model. And then the impacts per minute are 3,800. So 200 more impacts per minute on this. However, you know, if you're driving a lot of screws, if you're framing or whatever, I highly recommend the 20 volt. Don't even joke around with the 12 volt. The 12 volt's not designed for framing. Yes, it is smaller, lighter, you know, all that good stuff, but don't don't use it for framing. It's it's just not designed for that. This is more for cabinetry. It's great to maybe keep in your tool bag for some quick screws, things like that. It's nice and light. For electricians, jamming boxes in, this is pretty sweet. It's, you know, when you got a big pouch on, this definitely helps. Um, however, saying that I've noticed, cause I always carry a drill or an impact on, on my tool belt. I've noticed that because this is lighter, it kicks off a little bit easier. And I find I've dropped this a few times or is this one's just got a little bit more weight. So it's, it's staying on my belt just a little bit better. And I, I rarely drop this one. And this one I've already dropped, I think like three or four times in one day. So something to be said about just having a little bit more weight because it just it wants to sit there a little bit nicer. Now they're both two amp hour batteries and like I said this is a 12 this is the 20 so we're just going to drive a couple screws in here in each mode so you can kind of see the speed and obviously the 20 volt is going to destroy the 12 but it's just a nice comparison if you are thinking about getting this over this if you're if you're new to the impacts or or if you're just thinking you know is it worth it so that's kind of what this whole review is about if you want specific reviews on each of these we've got them down below uh, so check them out all right let's do the 12 volt first on 
the high mode. And then we'll jump right into um, this one on the high mode. I'll just go back and forth. I'll just preset a couple screws here. All right, we'll make sure that's on level three. Okay, here we go. So high mode. High mode on this one. See the difference? Massive, massive difference. You can't even compare. I mean, if you're framing, like I said, don't bother with the 12 volt. Now let's do level two. Preset a couple screws here. All right, level two. Painfully slow. <laughs> Whoa. And that's level two on this. Level two is like faster than level three on that impact. So now let's let's show you this uh, level one where it's really, really precise. I don't think I'm gonna go the whole way because it's just ridiculous how slow it is. It's not meant to drive three inch screws. Okay. All right, here we go. So did you see the pause there? It pauses, I'm not exactly sure why, but I think it's just sort of calibrating how much torque and it just kind of does its thing. See, stop, and then it keeps going. So not designed for three inch screws. Now do level one on this 20 volt. So a lot faster, but you can see it barely used the impact until the very end there. So it's got a lot more control. I don't think I've ever used level one on this impact. I'm always level three, just giving her all the time. I love this 12 volt though. And the reason I love it is it is small. It fits my bag really nicely. The batteries are nice and tiny. And for doing electrical work, jamming boxes in, it's, it's just super small, really comfortable in my hand, and it gets the job done. Obviously, if this is kicking around, I'm gonna grab it. I really love this drill. I'll never ever replace this um, unless DeWalt comes out with something even better, which I'm sure they will. So there you go, guys. If you're in the market for buying one of these, that's a little bit of information for you. And I hope it helps. Leave some comments down below. Love to answer them. And if you got any questions about the stuff behind me or anything like that, uh, yeah, leave some questions and subscribe. Hit that notify bell, give me a thumbs up. Till next time, keep on crushing it. We'll catch you later.